Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to introduce the new feature that we have, uh, and it's basically CSS control over your view layout. Um, for those of you that have view, you know that um, you can change things around, but you have you're very limited to uh, the color scheme uh, to your layout. For example, this uh, top bar that it's gray, you can't change um, the gray behind the player you can't change uh, you can't even put an image back there a lot of white in here and even though this is a very clean layout uh, this may not fit your style so uh, we understand that you know you have everyone has their individual style um, for a lot of people this is your main website so you don't want to you don't want to be the same as the next guy so uh, we just finished uh, coding and now you can actually change the theme of your uh, of your view layout so you're able to stick out from everybody else and uh, we have some pretty interesting stuff going on here so let's uh, let's get to that the first thing I'm going to show you is a is a theme that we modified using the new code that you have so again um, this is basically uh, white this is stuff you couldn't change before and this is an after look of what it can look like uh, as you can see we changed the header to black instead of the usual gray um, and then we changed the uh, the countdown bar to black and changed the color to the um, to uh, this gold color to match the uh, Lamborghini icon uh, and then we added a background image to to the player which uh, you know I mean the, the color combinations are, are pretty much endless so um, you can you can have a solid color back here if you want to to whatever you want um, black color throughout you can actually now change the color to the uh, highlighted uh, license plan that you want to you want to choose you can change these colors too to whatever you want the little little direction um, the next and back buttons and also the footer is pure black uh, so this is just an example. As you can see, there's a huge, huge difference between the usual view layout and the new modified uh, look that you're able to do with the uh, customizations that we've added to um, to Soundgen. So on the next uh, the next segment, we're going to show you how to accomplish this. What you want to do is you want to go into your uh, control panel and under view there's a new tab called stylize which go ahead and click on that and now you have these new options now you have two ways of, of modifying your layout the first one is by a, a quick theming so you can do a custom color and it will do a quick theme on whatever color you choose or for your advanced users out there you can do you can create a new theme and you'll have you can actually just go one by one and add, you know, just, you know, customize. I mean, this is for someone that really, really wants to dig in and customize every piece of, uh, of layout. And I, I would assume that a lot of people are going to choose creating your own theme. You can create new themes, save them. I mean, you can have 10, 20 themes that you build uh, and so forth. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a quick theme. Uh, once you do a quick theme, you can't edit it. But um, let me show you. For example, this is uh, this is our layout here. So what would happen if we chose a red spectrum uh, type of deal? So I'm going to go to default. I'm going to do a custom color, and it already remembers that I chose red. So um, let's go ahead and choose that red and hit submit. Okay, it updated successfully. Now I'm going to um, refresh. I'm going to clear the cache, and I'm going to refresh this. Now, as you can see, now it's picking up all the red hues, and it's kind of doing a quick theme on the red. And for a lot of people, this is this is pretty awesome. It, it even does a red theme on the uh, on the on the you know the squeeze page. Anyway, um, so this is kind of a a uh, quick way of theming your view layout. All right, so let's check out um, 
the expert mode, which is um, basically uh, creating your new theme. So uh, let's go ahead and just get that back to default. Uh, once you hit default, it should go back to your usual um, layout. Okay, so we're back to uh, we're back to the default. So let's create a new theme, and um, we'll just call this new. And just to show you, I, obviously I could be here for an hour customizing it. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to show you. Um, we'll do new, and then we'll do the header of background color. Uh, you click on this box. You can move around. We'll just use that color there. And I'm going to hit submit on the bottom. I don't think you can see that, but okay. And then I'm going to um, refresh this. And is as you can see, you can see that the top bar is now blue. So you can go on here, and uh, once once that's created, you can edit it, and then just you know change the uh, player background image for example let's do let's choose a file here and we will choose a player background and hit submit and then we're going to view it so what I did was I added a background Image. I don't know if you can see that, but um, we, we basically toned down the opacity on the image, but you can see an image behind the, uh, uh, the player. Now, truthfully, I can, truthfully, I can stay here for about another an hour and just kind of go one by one and show you, but uh, some of the things you should remember is you can copy and paste um, these uh, color codes and drop them anywhere you want or you can use the color picker uh, and choose it through here or, or paste it right there if you wanted to um, yeah and then we have a, uh, a quick view layout button here because before the only way to access view is to go to the main view page and click on launch view but now um, if you go to stylize um, it will always be there uh, for you to uh, check out your layout and another thing you want to do is when you do make changes, um, it doesn't happen right away. You have to basically refresh your page. Once you refresh your page, you'll be able to see whatever uh, color things that you've added on there. So remember to do that. Um, we have the usual thing, change the header, um, change header image. Um, we definitely recommend you use 16 by 600, but we've already covered this in a, in a, in a previous um, video. So that's that's pretty much it for stylize, and um, again, it's uh, it's it really. I mean, it really. If you do it right, and you really think about uh, the color choices that you use, it could really stand out and really make your your view layout uh, something completely awesome. So um, enjoy the uh, the new options. I know uh, you guys have been waiting for a while, but. Um, <laughs> We just finished it tonight and uh, have fun out there. Uh, we're going to hopefully in the forum we'll have a, uh, a little gallery there to see, see everybody's uh, what everyone has done with the, the new view out, uh, the new view options. And, and it'll be interesting to see what you guys come up with. So anyway, thanks guys.